Assalamu alaikum students. Today our topic is chemical equilibrium. Let's discuss its MCQs. If one mole of gaseous hydrogen is mixed with one mole of gaseous iodine in an empty container, then with the passage of time, rate of so we know that initially when we start the reaction, then what happens? The forward reaction increases initially, but with the passage of time, the forward reaction decreases. So here option D is correct. The forward reaction decreases with time. And at that time, the backward reaction increases. So the next one, all of the following are homogeneous equilibrium except. So first we have to know what is homogeneous equilibrium. Homogeneous equilibrium is the one in which all the component of the reaction, all the component of the equation occur in one phase. Okay, all the component of the reaction occur in one phase. Now we have to find the exception. Okay, here look. SO2 is in gaseous, oxygen is also in gaseous, and SO3 is also in gaseous. So this is not the exception. Here FeO is solid, carbon monoxide is gaseous. Here iron is solid, carbon dioxide is gaseous. So it means that this one is heterogeneous equilibrium because the, all the components do not occur in the same phase. This one is solid, this one is gaseous, okay? So option B is the exception here, okay? Look at the C, gaseous, gaseous, and gaseous phase. Look at the D. It is also in gas phase and this one is also in gaseous phase. So here option B is correct. Equilibrium constant expression for the reaction this. Now keep one thing in your mind that in case of liquids, pure liquids and solids, we write the concentration as 1. Okay, we write the concentration 1. While in case of aqueous, so in case of aqueous or Echo solution or in gases, we write its specific value. Okay, here we write its specific value. Now look at this equation. Here, P4 is in solid form and PCl3 is in pure liquid form. Okay, so we have to write the concentration equal to 1. Okay, look at the option C here. Here, the product is in pure liquid, so we have put here 1. Okay, and in reactants, the P4 is solid, so only Cl2 is like. We will write only Cl2 in the concentration, okay? So the Kc is 1 over Cl2 and the coefficient is written here in the power, okay? So it will be like this. So option C is correct. For gaseous equilibrium, all of the following combinations are incorrect except. So we have to find the exception, okay? So here look, what is del N? Del N is actually the number of moles of product minus the number of moles of reactants, okay? If the number of moles of product and reactants are same, then it means that del N will be equal to 0. And in that case, Kp will be equal to Kc, okay? Now, if the number of moles of product is smaller than the number of moles of reactant, in that case, the del N will be smaller than 0, or del N will be negative. So, in that case, Kp will be smaller than Kc. Now, if the number of moles of product is greater than the number of moles of reactants, then in that case, del n will be greater than 0 or it will be in positive okay so in that case kp will be greater than kc now look at the options look option a when del n is equal to 0 then kp will be greater than kc so it means that option a is incorrect okay but here we have to find the exception which means that we have to find the correct option okay look when n is equal to positive then kp will be smaller than kc it means that this one is also incorrect. Look, when Kp is positive, here Kp is, when del N is positive, Kp is greater than Kc, okay? So this one is also incorrect. When K, when del N is negative, in that case, Kp is smaller than Kc. Now look, when del N is negative, Kp is smaller than Kc. It means that this one is correct, okay? We have to find the correct statement. All of them are incorrect, but we have to find the correct in their options, okay? When del N is equal to negative, then Kp is smaller than Kc or equal to. So this one is also incorrect, okay? So option B, option C is correct. Consider the equilibrium. N2 plus 3H2 gives 2NH3 for this equilibrium. So here are the options. We have to write the correct one, okay? Let's first of all find the del N. What is del N? The number of moles of product minus the number of moles of reactant, okay? So here, number of moles of product is 2 minus number of moles of reactant is 4 okay it means that del n is minus 2 it is negative now in case of negative kp will be smaller than kc now look at the options here option a is correct okay 6 
Kp is equal to Kc for which of the following reaction? Now we know that in which case Kp is equal to Kc when del n is equal to 0, in that case Kp is equal to Kc. What is del n? When the number of moles of the product is equal to number of moles of the reactant, okay? When n is equal to 0, in that case product number of moles of product is equal to number of moles of reactant. And in that case, Kp is equal to Kc. Now we have to find the reaction in which number of moles of product is equal to number of moles of the reactant. Now look, the product is 3 moles and the reactant is 1 mole. So this one is incorrect. The product is 2 mole and the reactant is 4 mole. This one is incorrect. The product is 2 mole and the reactant is also 2 mole. Look, 1, 1, 2, 1 and 1. So this one is correct. Kp is equal to Kc. In that case, when we subtract the product reactant from product, look, it's 2 and 2. 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. Look, product minus reactant is equal to 0. So Kp is equal to Kc, okay? Kb is smaller than Kc for all of the following equilibria except. Now look, Kb is smaller than Kc. So we have to find the exception case, okay? Here Kb is smaller than Kc for the three options, but the another option will be exception. Now look, in which case Kb is smaller than Kc? When number of moles of product is equal to negative, okay? When del n is equal to negative, okay, del n. Here it means that the product number of moles of product will be smaller than number of number of moles of reactant okay now look at here a 2 and 3 it means that n will give negative 2 minus 3 means minus 1 so this one condition is suitable for a but we have to find the exception okay here 2 minus 4 it means that this one will give minus 2 answer okay so this one is in that case kp will be smaller than kc so this one reaction this one condition is suitable for option b but we have to find the exception, okay? Look at here. Here, 2 minus 1. It will give del n is equal to 1, which means positive. And in positive case, Kp is greater than Kc, okay? Kp is greater than Kc. So it means that this one is the exception case, okay? Look here, 2 minus 3. It, it will give minus 1 answer. So this condition is suitable for option D also. But here the exception is option C. So option C is correct. To obtain the maximum quantity of ammonia by Heber's process, look, it's the reaction, okay? N2 plus 3H2 give 2NH3, okay? The best option is, number A, addition of argon gas to increase the pressure. This one is incorrect because when we add the argon gas, it means that we are adding the inert gas. So look, when we add the argon, it means the addition of inert gas. Now, when we add the inert gas, it means that the reaction will proceed in that direction where the volume is greater. Here the volume is greater in the reactant side, not the product. So it means that when we add the argon, then the reaction will proceed in backward direction and the N2 and the H2 amount will be greater. So this one is incorrect. Look at the option B. Reduction of the quantity of ammonia by dissolving water in it. Now, if we, we need the pure form of ammonia, not dissolved in water. And the next thing, this one is incorrect option. Next one, reduction Reduction in pressure and temperature both. Now look at here. If we reduce the pressure, then the reaction will proceed in that direction where the volume is greater. Look, here the reaction will proceed in that direction where the volume is greater. Here in reactant side, the volume is greater. It means that we will get greater amount of N2H2, not the ammonia, okay? Look at the this one. Reduction in temperature, okay? It is good to reduce the temperature, okay, because it is exothermic and when we reduce the temperature, then it will proceed in forward direction. But here in this option, th there is also present the reduction in pressure. That's why this option is incorrect, okay. Next one. Difficult to tell from the available data. No, this one is also incorrect. Look, addition of air and the removal of ammonia. Now, this one is the best option because when we add the air, it means that we are adding the nitrogen gas. And when we add the nitrogen gas, here we will, the reaction will proceed in forward direction and we will get greater amount of ammonia. Look at the other part, removal of ammonia. And this is also correct. According to the Charter principle, when we reduce the amount of product, then the reaction will proceed in the side of product to maintain its equilibrium. So option E here is correct. If A moles per liter of sulfur dioxide are mixed with B moles per liter of oxygen in an empty container to produce sulfur trioxide according to the reaction. Look, the reaction is given here. 
Initially, the, the concentration is a mole per liter and b mole per liter. When the reaction starts, then what happens? Here, from a, some of the concentration means some of the moles will be converted to this, okay? Some concentration will be converted to sulfur trioxide, like here, a minus 2x will be converted to sulfur trioxide, okay? From oxygen, here from B, some of the concentration will be converted to sulfur trioxide like Bx, okay? Here, 2 is, I have written 2 here because this one is 2 moles, okay? 2 moles of sulfur dioxide present. So, from these individual moles, here 2x will be converted into sulfur dioxide, okay? Now, this one will give, what? 2x, okay? This one will give 2x concentration of sulfur trioxide. Look. With x, you have to take these moles, okay, number of moles. Here, oxygen is only 1 mole, so I have written 1x. Here, sulfur dioxide is 2 moles, so I have written 2x, okay. Now, how you will write its Kc? Kc is equal to product, so 2x. And what you have to do, just take this coefficient and put here, okay. And reactants like A minus 2x. And take this coefficient and put here, okay. Now, oxygen B minus x. So it will be, look, it will be the equation for Kc. Look at here, once again, this coefficient will be written here, and it has only one coefficient, so it means that here will be one only, okay? And here, the two coefficient is two, so write it here in the power. This one is the value of Kc for this one reaction, okay? Look here, option D is correct. Look at the tenth. All of the following equilibria are affected by pressure change except now remember this that the pressure equilibria is only equilibria are only affected by pressure when the reaction is in gaseous state only okay the gaseous equilibria are only affected by pressure but here look if the number of moles of product is equal to the number of moles of reactant then in that case the gaseous equilibrium will not be affected by pressure okay here, all the options are in gaseous form, but look at the coefficient, means number of moles. Here, 2 and 3, and here is 2. It means that product is not equal to reactant. Here, 1, 2, and 2. This one is, look, this one is correct, okay? It will not be affected by pressure equally, pressure change, okay? This equilibrium will not be affected by pressure change because the product is equal to reactant. If we increase the pressure or if we decrease the pressure, then the product, the equilibrium will be same. Look at the option C. Here is the 4 moles and here is the 2 moles. Here it is 1 mole and here is 2 moles. So here option B is correct. Low pressure will increase the yield of product in equilibrium. Now, look, when the pressure is low, here we know that pressure is inversely proportional to 1 over V. When pressure is low, the volume will be high. Okay? Now, we have to find that one reaction in which when we lower the pressure and the volume, the volume increases. The product, the yield of the product increases. Now, we have to find the reaction where on the product side, the volume is greater as compared to the reactant side, okay? Look here, if we decrease the pressure, then the reaction will proceed in that one direction where the volume is greater. Look, if we increase the, decrease the pressure, then we will get SO2 and O2 because here the, pro, the volume is greater and in product side, the volume is smaller. So, we will get the yield of reactant, but there required is the high yield of product. Look at this one. This one will not be affected by the pressure, okay? Because the moles of product is equal to the number of moles of reactant. It means that the, here the volume is same. Two mole, vol, two volume and here one, two. So the volume is same. Look at this one. Here, if we decrease the pressure, then we will get the high amount of N2 and H2, not the NH3. And look at this one. Here it is one and here it is two. It means that when we lower the pressure, the reactant will the reaction will proceed in that direction where the volume is greater. Look here on product side, the volume is greater, and when we decrease the pressure, we will get greater amount of N2. And here the required is the high yield of the product. Okay, so option D is here correct. Cooling of the reaction container will favor the formation of product in all of the following equilibria except. Now, look at here. When we cool the reaction container, it means that in forward direction, that reaction will occur in forward direction, which are exothermic, okay? Look at the option A. It is exothermic, okay? So, when we cool the reaction container, then we will get greater amount of product. But here, we have to find the exception case, okay? Now, this one is incorrect. Look at this one. This is also exothermic. 
when we decrease the temperature then we will get the greater amount of product okay but here we need the exception case we need the endothermic reaction now look this one is endothermic it is present in your book okay it is present in your book that m2 plus o2 when react to give 2 you know then this reaction in is endothermic okay so this reaction is endothermic when we lower the temperature then it means that the reaction will not proceed in forward direction the formation of product will not favor so in this case the option c is correct here the exception is option c the option d is also exothermic reaction okay these reactions are present in your book that which one is exothermic and which one is endothermic so here option c is correct addition of air will increase the yield of the product yield of the product in all of the following except now here we have to find the exception case look at here when we add the air it means that we are adding the nitrogen oxygen and other gases okay which are contained in air now look at this one option a and option b if we add, we, if we add the air here in option b then it means that the reaction will proceed in forward direction okay because the amount of n2 will be greater which will react with h2 and it will give nh3 okay now look at the option a if we increase the air it means that look here is the reaction when o and 2 will give n2 and o2 okay 2 no will give n2 and o2 now if we add the air it means that we are adding the product okay we are adding the product when we add the product then the reaction will go in forward backward direction it means that the reactants are increasing the yield okay so this one is the exception case here look addition of air will increase the yield of product in all of the following equilibrium except so the exception case is this one because in this case the product will not increase only the reactant will increase so option a is correct 14 consider the equilibrium n2o2 and 2no equilibrium constant for the reaction at room temperature is 1 multiply 10 power minus 3 look at here the kc value is very very small the value of equilibrium constant show what does this mean when the kc is very small it means that the reactants are in greater amount okay reactants are in greater amount the product are in smaller amount because kc is directly proportion to product directly proportion to product and kc is inversely proportion to reactants okay so it means that kc is very very small then reactant will be greater and the product will be very very small now look at the option a condition for the reaction are not suitable look we have to also see the other options okay b is reactants are unstable at room temperature now look at here the room temperature is provided but what is there kc is very very small when kc is very small it means that the reactants are in large amount and it means that reactants are stable in this case and option b says that reactants are unstable at room temperature so this one is incorrect okay look at the c option reaction occur in to a considerable extent under the given condition this one is also wrong if the reaction would occur in a considerable extent then it means that the product would be much greater okay and the but here the product is very very small because the kc is very small so here this option is also correct the reaction d high pressure required for the reaction now look at the reaction here this reaction will not be affected by the pressure because the number of moles of reactant is equal to the number of moles of the product okay here 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 which is equal to here so the product volume is equal to the reactant volume it means that high pressure the pressure will not even affect this reaction okay so it means that option a is correct condition for the reaction are not suitable okay it means that the condition are not suitable that's why the kc is very very small and the product is not formed in a good yield okay next one 15 homogeneous liquid equilibria now look liquid equilibria liquid is here are not affected by temperature change no this one is correct liquid equilibria can be affected by temperature change okay b may or may not be affected by the temperature change no this one is incorrect because liquid is not affected by the pressure okay liquids are not affected by the pressure and here is may or may not they are not affected by pressure look homogeneous liquid equilibria may or may not be affected by temperature this one is also incorrect because they are affected by the temperature okay they can be affected by the temperature look at the d are not affected by the pressure change this one is correct okay liquid equilibrium are not affected by the pressure changes okay so the remaining mcqs will be in next video allah Hafiz.